Our kids come from a variety of backgrounds and they don't always have these sort of experiences at home. I have definitely been educated by what's gone on today and I'm sure um, parents will be as well. I've seen the most amazing development of these children who were, I would say, to start with, very, very suspicious of what was going on. For some people who've never thought that dance could provide a career for them, you know, I think you know, we can really help to make them think, actually, yeah, dance is more than just one hour a week over six weeks in school, and that's it. There was one uh, young lad with quite severe autism who never used to really speak to anybody, and at the end of the week came and said, thanks, that's the best thing I've ever done. He jumped so high and it's like a soft landing. And he could put his leg up high. It's um, amazing. I like that tune, you know it, fast tune. I like that tune. Extraordinary. <laughs> from the Philharmonia Orchestra. Now, hands up if you know what an orchestra is. I wonder if you could tell us. Well, you have the people play instruments and you've got a conductor. Oh, I, I, I listen to music every, every day and I like music. We're here at the Courtauld Gallery with the Princess Foundation for Children in the Arts. We started looking at some Monet pictures to get inspiration for a painting for our canvas. We looked at brush strokes, palette knives, we used those. I didn't even know they existed. When you paint on such a large canvas, you end up not just using your hands and your wrist and your arm, but you're actually using your shoulder and the whole of your body. They went in there and they didn't really know what they were going in to do and um, they just went in and they just they just took part and, and really, really enjoyed it and really felt good about themselves. It really offers them the opportunity to think creatively, to think outside of, um, you know, outside of the box, to, to be in a situation where there's no right or wrong um, and a space for ideas and imagination. I like it because it's like... There's loads of simplicity, like the walls white and there's like not many interesting colours, but like when you look, it like brings up a lot of imagination and there's lots to it. Hopefully they will actually want to come to see quality programming on their own. If we're thinking about getting children into the arts and actually involved in ways that they wouldn't be already then I think this is the best way because their whole day, this is, they'll, they'll remember this day, I'm sure they'll remember this day for the rest of their lives. It made them believe that they could they could actually do it. A lot of a lot of the kids have never tried something like that before. I want to be a musician. 
the show when I'm older because music is fun and you can learn different ways to play the instrument. With the funding from Children of the Arts, the children get to come and see um, two shows here which their schools wouldn't actually be able to afford. I think it was niche. It's giving them a chance to express emotions that they might not normally have an OLED to express. You gain more confidence and it makes you f um, feel more proud of yourself. It's given them their first cultural experience really, an art gallery, their own stuff in an exhibition and also um, live theatre performance as well. I like the, the Glockenspiel m m making it feel like that there's magic everywhere. We hope to work with the Prince's Foundation over the years. Thank you.